What is going on, YouTube? Finally back with another episode of Medieval Man. And unfortunately, the commentary isn't live. I really wanted to do it live, but honestly, I just couldn't bring myself to talk into a void while playing the game. I can talk into a void while not playing the game. Like, you know, going over recording. But yeah, that was just not happening. So I had to at least do something. I didn't want to have like this big void of content so you know i'm just gonna stick with this style of video for now all right all right so obviously we're the slavs again why because you know i love slavs if you've seen my other videos and our opponent today is shaggy shaggy is the mayans and when i saw that he was mines i thought two things uh, either Eagle Pike Push, or probably just massive tons of archers. So my initial thought was, alright, well, I don't feel like letting him mass up a ton of archers. So I'm gonna go for scouts. And I was trying to look around at my map. Yeah, I was looking around, and I'm like, alright, gold, gold, back here, nice. Alright, scouts it is. Because... You know, if he pushes this gold, I still have a gold back, and I can, like, go to Castle Age, if anything. So, at this point, I'm, like, committed to that now. And I'm scouting with the sheep and stuff. I see my two boars, quote-unquote. You know, berries. And I think there's no more sheep, other than the ones I started with. I don't know, actually, this is Gold Rush. I've never played Gold Rush before. I just go into these blind as hell, like, yeah, anyways, so, I realize that there's no more sheep, and I'm like, okay, I'm probably gonna have to go into a big, like, farming cove, tons of people hunting or something. Uh, over here, I'm scouting, let's get all visible again. Alright. He tries to snipe my scout. You know what? Not today, my guy. Not today. Happens pretty often. Look at this wood line though. Like, look, up, look how beautiful that is. It's just perfect. Alright, anyways. So here we are. You know, business as usual. Don't have the mill yet, but here it comes. It says, oh, housed. Anyways, yeah, not exactly a perfect build, but I kind of had to like adapt on the fly because I realized there's no like, a sheep, like, I don't know the map. I'm just trying to do what I know, and that's get to scouts, find the enemy, and keep scouting. So now that I've found them, I'm just trying to see, like, where his resources are, uh, if he has any buildings up, yada yada. And over back home, I'm still doing all the basic stuff. I guess I'll fast forward a little bit. This is actually only my fifth ranked game. I wanted to play it more, but like I just couldn't bring myself to try to do the live commentary I wanted to do while playing, like I said. So I kind of like didn't play for a little bit. I was still like playing extreme AI and stuff just because I like to practice. But yeah. So I was a little nervous when the game started. I'm starting to get over those jitters though. I guess I just gotta keep playing more and I'll get over it. Alright, we're going up to Feudal. Guess we'll slow down, because this is when, like, you know, strategy starts happening again. I'm seeing this guy is already walled, almost, I guess. I'm like, okay. I don't think he's going to be able to wall like everything yet. Or maybe he could. Doesn't look too hard. Okay. He has easy walls. What is this? Look at that. Yeah, he's going for the wall. Okay. Yeah, I haven't watched this recording yet. So this is all like... On the fly for me. I did just play the game though. I just thought it would be better to do the recording as soon as I can. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. Look at that. 
push the zebra in because I needed to adapt. Never even tried that before. I mean, I've done it in like a couple like extreme games, but I'd always mess up. That was pretty nice, man. Here I see his eagle, and I'm already up to feudal, so I have the extra attack. So I'm like, all right, time to die, scout. We know how this fight's gonna go. I don't lose. Yeah, I got my stable up as fast as I can. Nice. See, let's see, let's see. Okay, his barracks is only just coming up. He's actually up by a couple villages. Oh, right, he's mines. Right. Sheep. Oh, he found my sheep. That's what it is. There was other sheep. Bastard. Sorry, I think I end up stealing those back later. Or. I steal sheep later or something. I don't know. I think I come across those sheep again. So long, sheep. We'll meet again. All right. I'm getting my scouts up. I got like three here already. I'm thinking, should I go attack? Or should I just hold him for now? I was like, all right, I'm just going to get four just to be safe. And then I think I start my push. Get off. I see Shaggy just got the feudal. And I'm thinking, all right. So worst thing he could possibly have right now if I attack is maybe like a spear or two. So I'm like, alright, it's time to go. And I'm just gonna try, you know, keep booming at home. Get my scouts in. But look at that. Ooh, he didn't hold everything, buddy. Or didn't wall everything. Bleh. Stumbling over my words. Oh yeah. Mmm. Juicy villagers. Yum. I hate how I didn't snipe that one. It's so frustrating. Got that one though. And I'm getting all this idle eco time now. He ran every single villager back. Die. Nice. That's good for me, because I'm still booming. Get my mining camp up. Wood. Farms. Even more scouts. Things are going well at this point. I feel like I probably should have Randy Scouts in. Yeah, I don't think I knew he was walled yet. So I didn't like know where to bring those scouts. I should have just brought them straight in, but like I think I was focusing on Eco at home. And then his spear starts slaughtering my scouts. Feels bad. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Quick walls me into his base. Right into the spears. Oh man, that's a fucking good play. Part of my friends. Oh, okay. So I did get those sheep back. All right. I want. I was wondering where those sheep came from. I don't even think. Yeah, I think I just sent them into the corner. I'm just like, whatever. Nobody needs these. He didn't need them. I didn't need them. Whatever. Just send them back to Gaia. Here, I just put my scouts in the corner because I was like, no, nah, can't find me. <laughs> Got an outpost up to get a view of the gold and see if he's rushing me. Let's see the fog of war here. I'm scouting some more since I realize he has spears up. There go my scouts. But I'm up by score. I idled a bunch of eco. And now I'm just scouting the map. I'm gonna try to go to Castle Age as fast as I can. What, what I should be doing here is walling, but since I have like one wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, not gonna happen. See, so, yeah, like, I got this guy. I'm like, come on, man. I just wanna make a house. That's all I know what to do. Sorry if you heard that. I just took a sip of coffee. It's still early here. Alright, alright, alright. Gold. Farms. Wheelbarrow. Wood. Things are looking good. Let's see what old Shaggy's up to. Shaggy's just trying to catch up now. Has, I think, way too many villagers on his berries. And has this one spear kind of like patrolling. Even though he's fully walled in. Um, hmm. No, okay, interesting. We're gonna go back. I'm trying to get this blacksmith up. Messy walls can just walk right in. 
get this blacksmith up, because gotta get the castle or something, help me. Speed this up a little bit since there's nothing really going on. Yeah, chop, chop, chop. Uh, I don't know, what sound does a pickaxe and a clink? Clink, 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 clink. I don't know. Alright, get these walls up. Okay, we're going to Castle Age finally. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's slow this down. It's time for strategy again. At this point, I know he's fully walled. I know my head. So I'm thinking, first thing, what do I do? What do I do? Triple barracks. Uh-huh, that's right. We're doing it again. <laughs> we're doing it again. Full long swords. I keep trying to tell myself not to do it before I play every time, like, don't go full long swords. But you know what? I just... The opportunity just presents itself and I take it, you know? Just like, alright, well... If I'm ahead, and I can just mass a bunch of long swords in Castle Age before he can get up and do whatever. And I know he's not gonna have any cavalry to... To slaughter them. And if he makes archers, I'm just gonna go skirms. And siege. I'm gonna make the siege anyways. So here I'm just like send my extra scouts that were running around to attack a house, put him on edge a little bit. Kills a scout. Whatever man, I don't care. So here we go. Yep, trip barracks baby. Full long swords, let's go. I see I'm up in castle age first, that makes me feel good. I'm like, alright, I have time to actually get these upgrades. Maybe I'll try to capture all the relics since I have, like, an excessive amount of gold. I know I need a market, but, like, my wood's kind of scarce at the moment. I think I try to get one up soon. Okay, now Shaggy over here is in Castle as well. Caught it way faster than I thought he would, considering how much time I... E I how much of his eco I idled. Alright, new TC, as soon as I get the wood. I love going two TCs. I feel like it's a perfect balance of like boom, but you can still like be the aggressor as well. And I have just enough wood to get to siege workshop. You know what's going on. We're just gonna start massing up long swords. Get that siege. Oh, <laughs> he found the sheep again. I didn't even realize. Oh my god. Is this game just dictated by who owns this sheep? I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so now we're just getting all the relics. Let's see what he's doing. Alright, he's getting an RTC, um, smart move. This looks like it's gonna be a third TC. See, I don't know if, like... I don't know if this is the move, though. And why, like, right in the middle of him? Duh. Open feet, go like put up to the trees. I don't know. Some very suspicious stuff from my friend Shaggy over here. Alright, so finally decided to get this market up because I just have a ridiculous amount of gold and nothing else, so it's time to start spending it. This should have been done forever ago, but it is what it is. I at least spend some of that gold on monks to try to go find relics. Yeah, army's coming along a little slow, but it's okay, it's okay. Once we sell this gold, it's 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 game over. Not really. I don't know, but I hope so. That's my thought process, basically, because I think I'm ahead based on the score and how much eco I idled for a while. All right, all right, all right. Got the ram. Long swords. Getting that armor upgrade. Relics. Yep, that's right. I think Shot. I found his scout. I don't know why did, why did they back off. It might be in like defensive stance. That makes sense. I do that sometimes. All right. Constantly making villagers though when I can. That's the big thing. This guy's on three TCs. He's just booming. He's not making like any military. I don't think that's really like a smart idea when you're pretty far behind, I would say, in my opinion. The score might not say far behind, but like 
based on the offense before Castle Age, I'd say he's a bit behind. Let's forget to bring this guy home. That's cool. Sorry. Alright, right, here we go. It's time for the push. Push. 15 long swords, farmer upgrades. We got scorpions for any potential archers, infantry. Uh, and then we get the ram to soak up some arrows, break some buildings. Starting to feel and look good here. And back home, I'm just gonna keep producing, making villagers, doing what I do, and then just looking back and forth. Is everything good here? Alright, cool, I'm gonna go back here. That's all the hotkeys. If you find people are getting to certain points in the game faster than you are, it's all in the hotkeys, in my opinion. The faster you play this game, the better. Strategy is important too, but you gotta be able to like really pay attention to everything. So he's trying to force this castle up now. But like, I have like five scorpions, a ram, almost 20 long swords. But uh, looks like he's gonna get it up. Loses a lot of villagers in the process. Still booming by the way. Sending more long swords in. He's got the castle up. But I'm thinking, alright, it can't stay up too long though. I'm using these long swords to go pick off other villagers to like to idle more eco. And over here, I'm focusing on just getting this castle down. Because I don't see any military. So I'm thinking, alright, if I can get this castle down, that's that's money in the bank. Cause then I don't know what he's gonna defend with. So I just focus on forcing it down. I see he's repairing up some vills. I think I start attacking him. I don't remember. I don't remember what I was paying attention to at this moment. There's a lot going on. Alright, here we go. I see he's got some plumes out. I don't like that. I don't think it's gonna do much for him though. Let's get to SRAM him to finish down the castle. Now I'm putting my own castle on this hill. Archer range. Honestly, I didn't really have to. I just like, all right, I might need skirms. But I think just full long swords with like rams is probably okay. Killing more villagers. Still producing at home. Got a lot on everything. Let's see where he is. Right, oh, sorry. Oh, Anyways. Castle goes down. I got three rams going for the TC. Fourth one here, castle. Long swords just lurking. The villagers aren't getting resources, they're hitting rams. I converted a plume over here. Little does you know, I got a lot more where that came from. Gotta give him credit, he's not giving up. He's like, alright, cleared that army. Time to start gathering resources again. And there comes another red. Duh. Gonna capture his plumed archer. Yeah, I think he deletes it right there. Sending in the ram. I make a quick boyar just to clear up any villagers potentially attacking the ram. And I think, yep, there we go. GG from Shaggy. We we'll give him their GG. Another Dubski. I think I was just pushing to the middle, put a TC right here. Somebody's gotta take the middle. Still didn't quit, that's okay. I don't mind killing villagers for a few more seconds. And that is it. That is it. A nice game of Gold Rush. My fifth rank game. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Um, let's take a quick peek sees. Alright. Can't believe I forgot about this, like, the whole game. Alright, alright. Yep, boomed up nice. Two TCs. He tried to overboom, didn't really make any military. Didn't counter this the right way. And that leads to a dub for Dinka. Alright.
right, guys. Thank you for watching episode three of Medilo Man. There will be more to come soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe if you can. See y'all later.